Oh my gosh, it's time to play this game again. <laughs> oh man. Has it been quite the adventure since I started? And um, what an amazement it has been, right everyone? So last time, I lost two characters and I still have six to go. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we learned that Josh was apparently the behind this whole madness and stuff. Pretty crazy and stuff. All those emotions that my sisters got to feel once. When oh yeah, and then home. Hannah and oh, Beth are missing. More than likely no. dead because no, we did no, find no, Beth no. dead, they're but gone. they're gone. Jessica's fucking dead. Mike. What? Oh yeah, and I've gotten to read some of your comments out there, so I'm really glad that I was able to start uploading these videos to YouTube. So hopefully you're enjoying. I don't remember killing Jess. Yeah, then apparently something else killed Jess or something. There's Emily still alive, but we don't know how for how long. Right there, I nearly messed up and caught Emily on fire. When you think about it, <laughs> she's wearing her jacket. And then we have all these decisions to make, so it's pretty funny. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we now we have to be careful because um, more than likely we're gonna get killed or get eaten or something. But um, there was a guy earlier and he said um, to use whatever and get the heck out of here. So I guess that's gonna be the goal for today, try to get back to our buddies. But as you already can tell, I'm scared as... <laughs> S-H-I-T when it comes to this game. What is that? Is it a photo? Greetings from Caligari. Um, hey Billy, I had a great time. Uh, if you want to get a laugh, Loretta. Billy Binks, it says. Okay. Is there anything else for me to look at in here? Do I only have like a limited of time to use this flare then it goes out? <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell from all the screams and all the yelps that I get to do in this game, I'm always freaking out every single second. And I get worried about it too. Oh, is this where I fell down from? Okay, I guess I have to go this way. I'm going the right way. Okay, so where do I go now? Hopefully I don't press the wrong button either, considering that I've been doing that lately. Oh, okay. Oh, here's the way out. Come on. Blackwood Mines. This area of the mine has recently suffered structural collapse. Please contact. <gasps> Ooh, better be careful then. Emily, be careful. Circle, square, circle, triangle, and square right here. <gasps> oh yeah, then apparently I forgot about this, but um... You press L2 to walk faster, because I'm walking regular, then this one apparently makes me walk faster. Then there's that weird noise that's always making noise. It's going to jump and scare me one pretty soon, so I better be ready. Is that a totem pole? Oh no. These things. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, let's see what this is. It's white, so it's fortune. Mike! And, um, what's her name's there? Sam. So apparently... Something about Mike is gonna bring good fortune if I make it that happen. I don't know, the totem poles are kinda iffy. Um, well yeah, if it says good fortune, then more likely it'll be good. Okay. I noticed that when I was editing these videos, I missed a lot of stuff walking around, so I'm gonna try and watch out. <gasps> Please don't let there be a timing right here. I'm gonna fail it. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought that train was gonna fall or something. Sounds like an eagle or something like that. Is Wasn't I right here before? Oh, there's a gap this is gonna be the way. Oh, I didn't want to go this way. <gasps> oh, shit! I thought so. It was going to come out sooner or later. Good job, Emily. 
Good job, Emily. Good job, Emily. Oh. Ah! What the heck is that? Is that a spider? Ooh, creepy. Oh no, go left, go right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing, I probably have to edit that scream out. Whoa. No, that was just crazy. Please work. Okay. What was that? <laughs> that scream, I tell you. It's gonna be the. This is why I cannot play this game. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> I was worried about that. Also, it has been that thing that's been chasing us this whole time. Well, that was what got um, Jessica too, so. Jump, girl! Why are we getting on that? Well, at least the game's doing the controlling for me. Stay on. I should have leaped. Oh no! <gasps> Circle! Oh shoot! Oh my goodness! <laughs> that scared the heck out of me. Run! Run! I thought so. Ooh. Oh man! That would have been... So butterfly effect, what happened? It looks like a bear though. Is she okay? Oh man. Okay. So that's what happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, who we're playing as now? Emily? Okay, we're still at Emily. Oh, we made it back? Crap, what now? Oh, Josh is up. Let me in, let me in! Let her in quick! Shut the door, oh my god, shut the door! Oh, <laughs> Emily, Poor are you alright? You were screaming bloody murder. You, okay? you look totally lonely. There was something. Where's that? Come sit down. Sit down. Something's Did out there. Did you guys split up? A monster. It's a Wait. Monster. Wait. A monster? Concern. Emily, are you okay? Wait. A monster? What are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Ash, relax. It was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. What happened? Where is Matt? Uh, I guess we'll talk about Matt after we get this mystery. Can you tell us exactly what happened? I I'm trying to tell you. The cable car was not an option, so we went for the fire tower. And and then there was a blizzard, and these deer attacked us. They just came right out of nowhere. You gotta be kidding. And one of them went for Matt. I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, my! Barely. Oh shoot. 
What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and there was, there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Uh oh. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. Okay. I got your back. <laughs> Am I gonna play Matt now? Or Mike? It's a guy. Oh, is it that flamethrower? I'll cover the door. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? Is, or is it the doctor? It is, now. Unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Okay. Uh, hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Oh, what? All right. All right. Oh, shit. He probably took the gun because I lost Take Matt's fingers. Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Nah, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming Evil. up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. Wendigo? Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? Okay. I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shh, not Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. What's your name, dude? Man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods. The spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh crap. What? <gasps> oh, okay, that's what those were. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Until dawn. Guys, what about I Josh? I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. Uh-oh. No. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh, Chris. Don't. I hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Oh man, that's Chris's friend. I'll go with you. You will? I don't need your help. Yes, you do. Alone is suicide. Exactly. Come on, Chris. He's got the flamethrower. Get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. Are you they ready? Don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. You got the flamethrower. Me and do everything I tell you. Uh oh, is his life in our hands too? <laughs> We're gonna leave Mike with the three ladies. I don't think that's a good idea. He can be a player at times. <laughs> well, I guess we're getting the other hand. Point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you <laughs> don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey. No, Ashley, stay. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, they kissed. See you soon. Oh, 
So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh? Ashley, get what, to the basement, the okay? Know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Uh oh. So. Butterfly how effect. many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Oh, really? Oh, that's why you've got the... Thing the whole time. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy, unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Don't uh, jump scare me yet. I'm not ready for it. Here's some patterns, like any animal. Like human. Oh, really? I mean, like how? They've got schedules. Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Josh. Are you still alive? The, uh, pro Wendigo tips. the music's getting the dirt. They'll still smell you. Anything like that. They can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changing the movement in their field of vision. Oh. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Oh no, Josh. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Uh oh. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body piece by piece <laughs> and he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs one piece at a time really so the launch then yeah let's go now shoot well it was easy still be near. it was easier walking here but it's gonna be harder walking back now chris you better hurry gonna come out any second now. Wait. There it is. Very quiet. <gasps> Chris! Run! Go! Now! Now! Oh! Whoa! Back! God damn! I'm right out of Gotta get out of here! Oh my gosh! He's dead. Ew. <laughs> oh, shit. Exactly. Oh shoot, wrong button. Chris, shoot it. <laughs> okay. I knew that he was gonna be a oh, shot somehow. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh shit! Oh! Oh no! Oh shoot! What is that? Is it dead yet? Ash! Ash! Oh thank God! Please let me in quick! Oh, that's where that part was. You know what happened, chick. Is it calling for help now? Oh, there's that body. Oh, wait, no, that's Josh. He's probably screaming for our help. Oh my god, guys, thank god. It took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it, it tore him apart. 
Oh, so that's where the camera is. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. <laughs> uh oh. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. No, but Mike. There's no key for the cable car. Josh, Josh has it. He's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Do we have to go yeah. after it? Oh shit, out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Oh shoot, huh? And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, 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 what is that? I was down there. It's horrible. You were? The sanatorium? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm we were talking about that, but you were weird. looking at the book. How much crazy shit's gone on? What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? What's what? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing. Oh, it no, just it, no, it no, bit no. me it and... bit you? What bit you? The, uh, the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you, I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, really? He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh shit, there goes Ashley. What? Mike! You gotta go. No! Are you kidding me? How do we. All in danger. Oh, this is not a zombie. Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. Yeah, we... I've seen what these fuckers can do. I don't wanna say it again. Oh, no. This? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Uh oh. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with. Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Oh, come on, Ashley. <gasps> Whoa, okay. No, 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 don't. Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? No. Like me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. No. Not no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that said no, he don't should. Don't do that. I'm really sorry. Uh oh. Hell no! I can't kill her. Are you crazy? Fuck! I can't do this. Okay, so that's where the fortune was. You can actually shoot her? Damn, that's crazy. Okay, well, yeah, like I said, at least I can control. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird. And if you feel weird, let us know too, Em. No one leave. Okay, it's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. 
Dang, you could have just you could have just shot Emily and lost her already too. Okay, Ashley, now cool it, okay? I know you're freaked out and all, but. Uh oh, what's she doing now? I thought that that he was gonna help us with a flamethrower, dude. Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we gotta be tough. We okay. gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. So we're gonna play as Ashley now. Cannibalism. Oh, she's gonna read it. Guess we should read it just in case. A section of the journal about how cannibalism causes the Wendigo curse. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words or it shall be your death and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food trapped on a mountain in the fierce winter storms. When he has eaten nothing for many days the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those company companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw off the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. Oh, okay, so I guess, um... When a human is desperate and craves food, so when if Emily ever starts to crave food, then um, well, it says when they have eaten nothing for days. It's only been like a few hours since they probably eaten. Okay, so that must have. Oh, so that's how Ashley's pause screen looks. She's got a black eye. Okay, so let's see. I'm sure um, Emily went down because of that last um, part. Oh yeah, huh? You can move their face. I for my brother was telling me that you could do that. I was like, really? So this is one controls her eyes. Oh, okay. It's kind of weird how that works. She's like, oh, so scared. Okay. Um. This guy's a little OCD. Yeah. Journal history. Let's read that one. Section of the journal detailing the history of the mountain. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In, 19, in 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and ladder, traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Okay. Okay, what does this say? I know I have to, I'm reading all this. I don't care. Uh, a section of the journal about how to fight and trap Wendigos. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees move it, movements. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, when the Wendigo, when if you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to be to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin through a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human and knows how to hunt us, it can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelopes them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill it. Killing Wendigos should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them, I have used traps to catch them, and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use of them. <gasps> one of one by one I caught those who have infested the mountain. It sounds like he used Hannah and Beth. No, that's just a scary thought. <laughs> 
Ooh, the bite. Uh oh, this is the part where Emily is gonna focus on. A section of the journal about the Wendigo's bite. There may be defenses, shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native um, artifacts on the mountain and have copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out of the mountain they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Okay, see, there is a possibility. Okay. Um. Oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Are you sure? Er, uh, it'll be okay. Conceal. Um. Just crazy stuff in here. M, you'll be okay. I don't know! M, you'll be okay is. Just. It says that. The bites. It you it's not infectious it doesn't do anything let me see uh, that I'm sorry what did you say um so she'll be okay it says what you're gonna be fine fine Michael almost shot me is that he fine didn't shoot you. and this bitch almost let him hey, exactly there. she was scared I'm the one who's scared I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry Emily I didn't know what was going to happen there's none of us know there's no excuse there's no excuse for this. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Damn, Ashley's been punched. She's been slapped. Jeez, this girl can take hits. That's not good, though, but damn. Why? What's in the journal that I didn't read? No, 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 bring the book. Bring the book. We're in the woods. Your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Uh -oh. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? Oh. You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Wait a minute, so is he just a game has gone terribly? Is he just a mirage? And your friends like your sisters have deserted you. You're all alone. Because every time we Can go into this office, how cold your loneliness has become. Huh? Why did you hurt them, Joshua? Why did you hurt them, Joshua? They hurt me. I didn't hurt anyone. Hey, we're playing Josh. Or well, we've been playing Josh. Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends. You misled them. You lied to them. You put them through a night of genuine horror. Yep, you did. It was just a game. I'm so sorry. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. Josh didn't say nothing. <laughs> 